Undoubtedly you've noticed that when you right-click in the flow, select Add Tool, there's a Favorites category at the top of the Standard Tool categories. On a default installation, the Favorites category is empty, but we can use it to store custom settings, images, groups, macros, and whatnot. The Favorites are populated from the bins, so if we open the bins and locate the Favorites folder, which is in the top of the hierarchy, any item we add into the bins in the Favorites folder will automatically appear in that Favorites menu. For example, here we've selected the RCA Test Pattern JPEG. When the bins are closed and we right-click select Add Tool Favorites, you'll see that test pattern. Selecting it automatically generates a loader, adds it to the composition, and points it at that footage. That's great for commonly used images, such as company bugs or logos. More frequently, I find myself using the favorites for common tool setups, such as this channel boolean tool, which I frequently set up to do a multiply, where I'm multiplying the red, the green, and the blue of the background by the alpha of the foreground. Since it takes a few moments to set up and to rename the tool to match its function, I prefer to have a copy of it in my favorites for quick and easy access. So, if I open the bins, and then I drag and drop that tool into the bins. That will automatically tell Fusion that I'd like to start saving the settings for that tool or selected group of tools. In this case, it's going to be called Mult A, and that's been auto-filled in because that's the name of the tool. So that gets added into our Favorites bin, and because it was added into the Favorites, it will now be accessible from that Favorites menu.